Hello and welcome to the Control 4 Composer Guide for Access Industries. I'm Kyle, a designer here at Access. I'm going to give a quick overview, then go through the proxy binding connections, then programming, and I'll finish with property settings. Our motion sensor also comes with an illumination sensor, a temperature sensor, and an optional humidity sensor. There are three connections, one for motion, one for temperature, and one for humidity. Bind temperature or humidity to our display drivers to show their values on the Control 4 Navigator. There's events for low and critical battery level so you can fire warnings. There's also events for motion detected and motion ended. There are variables for motion detected, battery voltage, temperature, illumination, relative humidity, and night mode. Anytime a variable changes, its associated event is fired. Variables can also be used as conditionals, so programming actions will only be executed if the condition is true. In this example here, we're using motion detection to turn on a light, but if the room's already illuminated, we don't need that light on. So I'm going to compare the measured illumination versus a variable I've created called illumination minimum. And then if that condition is true, then we'll turn on the light. There are a variety of properties that can be adjusted using the commands in programming actions. Motion sensitivity, occupancy hold time, force transmit levels of light, temperature, and humidity, report time, motion in day or night mode, setup mode, and definition of the displayed temperature. A description for each property can be found in the documentation tab. On the top of the list is time of last communication, a good place to look when troubleshooting. Next is show properties. Set it to show to see updated property values. It'll time out and switch back to hide to conserve controller resources. Debug mode is also good for troubleshooting. Set it to print and click the Lua tab to see what the driver has to say. There are a number of properties that affect battery life. With the exception of occupancy hold time, we default everything to settings that provide the most battery life. Occupancy hold time is how long there needs to be no motion before the device will report that motion has ended. This is set to 5 seconds by default to make it easy to test when you first connect it, but we recommend using a higher value to reduce the number of motion detects and ends that are reported since reporting is the most significant drain on battery life. The force transmit properties for light, temperature, and humidity can also cause a lot of extra reports, so we default them to off. When these are set to off, their values will still be reported. They may be reported on motion detect and end events, at the very least, they'll be reported at the frequency specified in the report time property. If you want tight tracking of light, temperature, or humidity, then use the force transmit properties. For example, if you want a report every time temperature changes by 1 degree Celsius, set temp force transmit degree to 1, and check the scale down here, set it to Celsius. There are a variety of properties pertaining to day and night mode. With the default settings, mode will change to night when illumination is below 25% for 20 minutes. It'll change back to day when it's above 60% for 20 minutes. Whether the mode is in day or night comes into play when enabling or disabling motion in day or night mode. That stops the device from reporting motion events, another way to conserve batteries. Thank you for your interest in our products. Please don't hesitate to call or email if you have any comments, questions, concerns, or requests. We're always happy to listen to your needs, whether it's a quick driver change or a whole new product. We're all in this together.